what you've seen out of him in a couple of days, uh, when what do you like from what you've seen out of him, and how do you when do you make the decision that of trying to promote him and possibly have him play Sunday night? Uh, all those moves can go down tomorrow, so I would imagine that those will go down. Um, you know, there'll be some moving parts with the roster, and all that'll happen tomorrow. Um, you know, when John and I, you know, discuss them. But you know, he, he's come in very professional, um, excited. Um, you know, studied, worked with Tony, him and Deontay. You know, him and Deontay, and I you know, told you that's what Dontrell did last week. So that's what they did, and, and we're just trying to get him brought up to speed. A lot of the guys have said, that, you know, he's brought a degree of energy uh, for you as a coach watching this. Uh, do you feel like, you know, he's been able to kind of charge you guys a little bit this week, so to speak? Yeah, we walked through on Thursday, which was real exciting. On Wednesday, we walked through and jogged through was even more energetic. And then the Friday was really good. I'm just going by what they said, you know. <laughs> I, I wasn't accusing you of anything, Toronto. Yeah, I just no, was I'm telling not, you just, that we had an exciting walkthrough as we possibly could have had on Wednesday. And an and a even more ruckus Thursday jog through. Um, I thought today was very good. You know, I, I know we're we're beat up, but uh, I was I was very encouraged by what I saw today, um, just from a focus standpoint. Um, you know, guys out there moving around, and you know, so I think that that's important. Tony, Tony kind of talked about needing to get Adrian and. and Foreman out there and see what they could do in the jog through, walk through thing. How much can you see what they do? Did you do anything extra with those guys padded up? Yeah, they had, you know, they did, you know, they, they did. And, and really, that's just making sure that these guys are conscious of the ball security and having pads on. So I thought that was important, you know, to use, uh, use our padded practice for, for one day. As far as distribution series, I mean, how much depends on just how they do, whether it's on Adrian, Deontay, Jeremy, just production going to let them earn? Yeah, I mean, I think that production is obviously going to be key uh, with whoever's out there. I also think that, um, you know, being conscious of where they're at, you know, uh, conditioning-wise and, and trying to find roles for everybody. Does it allow you to be creative uh, with different guys in different situations now that you've got three or four guys that you're going to be choosing from? Mm, I mean, I think we'll just try to call whatever. You know, I don't want to like, okay, this guy is gonna only going to run these types of plays. That really doesn't really work. It's hard for a, you know, a play caller. But, um, you know, just trying to get them all brought up to speed. And we know that Jeremy's got a great grasp and Dontrell's got a, got a week here. Uh, and then we'll see where Deontay and um, Adrian are. Mike, with as much empty sets as the Rams like to run, run what does that kind of put? What kind of strain does that put on the defense? Well, you know, you have to cover the entire field. I know. You wouldn't have done that for us. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's the smartest thing you've said since I've been here. Um, you know, I think he's such a you know, you know, Stafford's such a excellent distributor that when you pressure him, he goes knows where to go with the ball. Um, you know, they mix in quick game, they mix in drop back, you know, they'll chip to gain some extra time with guys on the edges. Um, everybody, um, can go in any of those spots across the field. So whether, you know, there's a running back at number one or a tight end uh, or a receiver in at number three, they all run the same route, you know, whatever route they call that just, they go out there and they line up in different spots. So, you know, it does put a lot of challenge, you know, <clears throat> Defensively, to make sure that you know we get lined up, execute, and, and try to affect you know the quarterback. Mike was the kind of guy that he's kind of been in different places the last couple of years. Have you always kind of kept an eye on you know if, if this ever was to happen, with Derek, that you thought about him as a possible uh, good fit. Um, no, I mean, I, I not me personally. You know, I mean, that's that's you know, I'm trying to coach the, the football team that we have and. I think that, that John and his staff probably have you know, a list of guys that they target and track. I don't think that that would be necessarily um, you know, something that I would want to do until the situation arose. We're, then we go over the list that they have compiled. You know? So that's really kind of how that goes down. But you know, aware of his career and, and what he's done, obviously. Given that, what did you 
I mean, the, just the conditioning, the, the shape, the, you know, the, 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 the burst, you know, there's some cut it, you know, I mean, it's a normal, you know, running back workout that you would, you know, that, that our guys put guys through. Jayon's progress guys is the, the Good. Good. Yeah. So I would say, you know, hopefully, you know, we can we can start to uh consider getting Jayon back in there soon. Real soon. Have you checked in with Derek again recently this week? How's he doing coming off of surgery? He's doing well. He's doing well. He's kind of uh you know getting a little uh you know, antsy, you know, being at the home being at the house and you know, you're so used to coming in here and every day working and being around your team. And um, he stopped in and, you know, he'll continue to be around us more and more. Magic question? Uh, Evans, Davis, Blasing game.